Very busy news on this Tuesday. The other big story developing at noon, some serious questions about the water at two Rochester Hill schools after a high level of mercury was discovered during a student experiment. That discovery prompting Rochester Community Schools to close both Van Hoosen Middle School and Adams High School until the city can conduct more thorough testing. Priya Mann covering this story for us live with a look at what people are saying about this ordeal. I imagine some parents are quite worried, Priya. Yeah, this is really concerning. Three samples were taken, and I want to give you a sense of just how much higher the samples at the schools were. The average mercury sample at both schools tested at 56 parts per billion. The EPA's goal is just two parts per billion, so a dramatic increase. And take a look. Every parking lot around the high school is empty today as both schools remain closed. The Rochester Community School District notified parents yesterday after receiving the results from Arizona State University. While the tests were not conducted by certified personnel, or sent to a certified lab for water quality testing. The district says they still take the concern seriously. Now, the mercury was discovered during a random science experiment. The teacher sent the samples to a research professor at Arizona State and determined the science room faucet at Van Hoosen Middle School had mercury levels that were significantly higher. Now, since the water source feeds at both schools, uh, the drinking water sources at those schools were immediately disabled and the students were dismissed early. And today, the city of Rochester Hills, the Oakland County Health Department, and an independent environmental consulting firm are all investigating, but parents are understandably concerned. Take a listen. Like I said, I still would like to know if, if I should take her to see a doctor. I mean, her safety is my number one concern as a parent, and I need to know what state steps are appropriate to take following this type of information, and I don't know what that is. And her daughter is a high school senior, and like so many others, they all have finals today. So students are now being bused to Oakland University so that they can take those exams. And just moments ago, we did hear from the district. Let's get their statement up on the screen. It reads, the safety of our students is always our priority. We will continue to work with the city of Rochester Hills as they work to confirm the quality of the water. And we will be reaching out to city officials as well. Reporting live from Rochester Hills, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. All right, thank you, Priya. We are getting our first look at the man police say is connected to a double homicide on Detroit's east side. Police have not released his name, but have released this photograph of the suspect. Back on March 21st, police say that man fatally shot two family members during an argument. Please call De Detroit police or Crime Stoppers if you happen to have any information. That suspect is considered armed and dangerous. A dangerous volcano still erupting on the big island of Hawaii. Rivers of molten rock are just gushing up through splits in the earth called fissures. The lava is pouring into the ocean while inching closer to a geothermal plant. Miguel Almaguer is on the big island this afternoon with the latest. Even a safe distance away from this fissure, you can really feel its power. It's well over 100 degrees here on the ground, though the air temperature across this island is much cooler. This fissure has been breaking out for several days, say geologists, and shows no signs of slowing down. A lot of people are freaking out. They're uh, really, they're really afraid. This one is actually not far from a geothermal plant in the area. It's already crossed onto the property, but so far has not caused any serious damage. It's a concern, though, still. More than 40 structures have been destroyed here. 2,000 people remain evacuated. Officials say they're also worried about air quality, especially in the coming days as more sulfur dioxide burns off and that hot magma hits the cooler ocean water. Ooh, ah. Can't see. Even if you don't have heart or lung problems, it could cause lung problems down the road. It's a concern all across this island while in residential communities, this is what they're worried about today. Back to you. All right, thank you very much, Miguel. Now let's talk about what we have in store this afternoon, shaping up to be a pretty nice day despite those clouds in the sky, Paul. All right, we'll check back with you when we can get your microphone working. Thanks, Paul. We are starting to learn more about the actions of the school resource officer during the school shooting in Santa Fe, Texas. Investigators say he was the first person to engage the accused gunman inside that school about four minutes after the shooting started. Now, after that, he and another officer stayed engaged with the shooter 
until an arrest was made about 25 minutes later. Authorities have not said how many rounds were fired, but they did say they do not believe any deaths were a result of friendly fire. The school resource officer was shot by that alleged shooter, and in an update, officials say he has some good days and some bad days. He's had ups and downs today. It was a down day, so we're still in prayer and hope that he, he recovers. Now, because of his quick actions, police say the school resource officer prevented more deaths from happening. Later in this newscast, we're going to take a look at how one company is using technology to help lock down buildings during an active shooter situation. A Detroit man originally charged with the threat of terrorism in connection with graffiti threats against police has received his sentence. 49-year-old Stuart Lewis spray painted kill all police and kill James Craig on a building back in October of 2016. Today, he was sentenced to one year in prison with 476 days served. The judge told Lewis he would have 111 days credit, meaning he goes free today. If he ever goes to jail again, well, he already has served 111 days. His attorney says Lewis has definitely learned from this experience. He's realized writing graffiti on a wall and having a BB gun, those things can lead to some problems. But he's also realized that there are people like the judge and the jury and the prosecutor, maybe even me, that will take the time on occasion to look into the facts and get them right. The threat of terrorism charge and the felony firearms violations were dismissed. A white Rochester Hills man is headed to trial on charges that he fired a shotgun at an African-American teenager who was just asking for directions. Jeffrey Ziegler is charged with assault with intent to murder. Prosecutors say he fired on a 14-year-old student who had knocked on his door to get directions on his way to school. Ziegler waived his preliminary examination hearing at a court appearance this morning. He will remain free on bond. Let's turn our attention now to political headlines at this hour. President Trump welcoming the president of South Korea, Moon Jae-in, to the White House at this hour. The two leaders will huddle this afternoon to discuss strategies leading to the upcoming planned summit between President Trump and North Korea's Kim Jong-un. That summit is scheduled to take place June 12th in Singapore to focus on removing nuclear weapons from the Korean Peninsula. Still to come, a look at why Sweden is telling its residents to be prepared for war. And we continue to follow the local breaking news on Detroit's east side where FBI, state police and Detroit police, including the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office, all have descended onto that area. They are searching behind a house for a possible homicide victim. They're looking at the scene live right now. This is video from Albion and Lappin Street in the area of Hoover and Seven Mile. We do have a crew in the air and on the ground working to gather more information. We'll bring you updates as they come into our newsroom. We'll be right back. When our client was seriously injured in a motorcycle accident, we fought and won a $1.25 million recovery in court. If you're injured in a motorcycle accident, get the Bernstein Biker Advantage. Call 1-800-CALL-SAM today. Recent reports show an alarming increase in men suffering from erectile dysfunction. No man should suffer. Even if Viagra and Cialis have not worked in the past, you can still have what it takes to overcome ED. Call the number on your screen and get your love life back. No matter what your age or medical history, the male method can help, often in just one office visit. If Viagra and Cialis have let you down, the doctor can help with a custom blend of safe prescription medications. If you don't see results in the office, there's no cost. Call now and get your love life back. If you've been thinking about new windows this spring, listen to this never-before offer from Wallside Windows. The more you buy, the more you save. Now, get one half off every Wallside replacement window we make. Plus, when you pay cash, we'll take an extra 5% off when you buy 5, an extra 10% off when you buy 10, and when you buy 15 or more new windows, you get an extra 15% off. Or five years, no interest. Call 1-800-521-7800. This Memorial Day weekend, grill seekers are welcome at Gordon Food Service Store. Get your first taste of summer. Five pound bags of Franks are $5. And get a leg up on your party. Tyson chicken drumsticks are 49 cents per pound. Your entree invited some friends. Gordon Choice classic side salads are $4.99 per five pound tub. Work on your summer 12 packs. Four cup 12 packs are $10. Stop in and grill out this Memorial Day weekend with Gordon Food Service Store. GFSstore.com. 
if you've been hurt in a motorcycle accident, you need a law firm with lawyers that ride. And that's us, because these are our lawyers. Lawyers that ride. That's the Bernstein Biker Advantage. 1-800-CALL-SAM. You're going to be a star. You're amazing. That's like... <gasps> American Ninja Warrior means believing in yourself. I went from not being able to walk to compete on American Ninja Warrior. We are inspiring the next generation. It gives me chills. American Ninja Warrior, May 30th on NBC. The peace-loving nation of Sweden is telling its residents to be prepared for war. Sweden's government has sent pamphlets to every household with advice on how to prepare for war or a crisis. The advice includes keeping a stockpile of non-perishable foods like sardines and beans. The pamphlets are similar to ones distributed during World War II. The new program might be a reaction to recent Russian military moves in the region. In other news this noon, in the wake of last week's deadly school shooting in Texas, a Texas-based security company says it will begin selling an active shooter security system to school districts. When the system from 9X Security senses gunshots, it automatically starts a lockdown, calls 911, and activates cameras to track the shooter. The system was designed for police agencies, but now it will be available to schools. I decided that as a company, we're going to offer this uh, technology and services to schools. You can't prevent the incident from occurring, but what you can do is minimize the damage. The cost to school districts will vary and could range from a few thousand dollars to nearly $50,000. Still to come on, on first at four, I should say at noon, I should say it's been an Eastern Market fixture for more than 30 years and is known for its barbecue, its soul food, and its soul music. We will take you inside the establishment on our Tasty Tuesday. Paul. Well, hey, Karen, 4 Live Radar is showing down to our south. We actually have some thunderstorms developing, but these aren't going to get us. It's what you can't see that we have to keep an eye out for this afternoon. We'll break it all down for you and have your holiday weekend forecast all just ahead. We showed you what can happen when one of the hottest beauty treatments goes wrong. I was terrified. She wanted perfectly shaped eyebrows, but ended up spending three days in the hospital. People are realizing the amount of money that they can make by this small procedure, but they don't realize how threatening it could be. Now, a warning from the state. Don't cut corners with this procedure. It's too big of a gamble. It's too big of a risk for your, for your health to be able to do something like that. We've discovered where you get this done is as important as who's doing it. What you need to know tonight at 11. I was on my way to work and a lady had run a stop sign and I was on my motorcycle and she nailed me dead center an inch or two the other way, I wouldn't be here. If you're ever unfortunate enough to be in a motorcycle accident, call Goodman Acker. Goodman Acker, it's a good decision. Hi, Mike Valley here from Mary Grove Vaughn & Company. Now our team is busy scheduling appointments to get everybody ready for summer. We can take you from this to this. But you got to call our team member now and ask for our Mary Grove features package valued at $800. Now this includes an adjustable pitch, protective cover, motor with remote control, and our wind sensor. Enjoy your awning this year and you don't need to pay for it till 2019. Call our team member now to schedule your appointment before these packages are sold out. Call us today at 1-800-44-AWNING. Thank you for calling Randy Hezzo. There has never been a better time to upgrade your heating and cooling system. Right now, get 0% interest for two years and get over $3,200 cash back. Only Randazzo can do that. Call us today for a free in-home estimate and we'll have your new system installed and running in one day. Dare to compare. Put us up against anyone because only Randazzo gives you the highest value for the lowest price, guaranteed. Go with the name you know. You see a lot of lawyers on TV, but will you actually see them when you go to their office? At Goodman Acker, you get us. Lawyers dedicated to getting you the money you deserve. Goodman Acker, good decision. Call 1-800-TRUSTED. Sometimes, bipolar one disorder can make you feel unstoppable. But mania, such as unusual changes in your mood, activity, or energy levels, can leave you on shaky ground. Help take control by asking about your treatment options. 
Raylar is approved for the acute treatment of manic or mixed episodes of bipolar 1 disorder in adults. Clinical studies showed that Fralar reduced overall manic symptoms. Fralar should not be used in elderly patients with dementia due to increased risk of death or stroke. Call your doctor about fever, stiff muscles, or confusion, which may mean a life-threatening reaction, or uncontrollable muscle movements, which may be permanent. Side effects may not appear for several weeks. High cholesterol and weight gain, high blood sugar, which can lead to coma or death, decreased white blood cells, which can be fatal, dizziness upon standing, falls, seizures, impaired judgment, heat sensitivity, and trouble swallowing may occur. You're more than just your bipolar one. Ask your doctor about Fralar. Alrighty, if you have outdoor plans this afternoon, better listen up. We have some things we need to tell you about here. Uh, we have a lot of cloud cover right now. It's thin in some spots, so some areas are getting some sunshine, and temperatures right now are solidly in most areas in the low to mid 60s, so a very pleasant midday hour. This is a pretty nice start to the afternoon, and we've got a great storm pin for you. This now you're thinking, okay, it's just a flower. Well, this is not just a flower. This is a rare painted trillium. This storm, storm pin came from Port Huron, and this is a very rare flower. It's found in the woods, and in fact, these things really don't grow anywhere else but the United States. In fact, when the colonists came here, they saw these, they'd never seen them before. They actually were talking about it and writing about it because they were they'd never seen such a beautiful flower before. Anyhow, great shot. Thanks for sending that in. We have some thunderstorms that have popped up to our south, and we're not watching these. We're just watching to the west because we do have a little front, a little upper level disturbance also swinging across the state and that's a little easier to see on the satellite here. If you watch here, you see this little swirl right here. That's that upper level disturbance. So as that comes across, you combine that with a little sun that we're getting a little heating this afternoon. We're going to pop up some scattered showers and thunderstorms for just the first maybe three hours or so of the afternoon. Things taper off rapidly after that. So let's show it to you on the model. This starts at two o'clock. So again, there's not a lot out here, but there is something out here. And so we're just going to kind of watch these through the afternoon. We're not expecting any severe weather, nothing to get worried about, but there could be a few showers or thunderstorms, particularly to the south. And then by five o'clock, stuff's pretty much gone. So I think we're going to have a dry afternoon rush hour, and I think we're going to have a dry evening for Little League games, after school sports and things like that. Now we do clear out tonight and you take the clear skies, light wind and the wet ground and that's a perfect recipe for fog. So we'll probably have some fog developing that will burn off early tomorrow morning and we're going to have lots of sunshine through the day and that starts three straight days of really nice summer like weather. If you like summer, you're going to love the next three days. You might even like the weekend too. All right, 73 the high now to the north, north of M59. You may stay in the 60s today, but overall low to mid 70s here in the south with again a scattered shower or thunderstorm, especially early to mid afternoon. Then we see the stuff kind of die off some fog tonight again after midnight as the sky is clear 53 the overnight low and here as promised the next three days just wall to wall sunshine rising into the mid 80s by Friday. Now as we get into the holiday weekend, let's get a little more detailed on that. What we're looking at is pop up storms Saturday and Sunday afternoon. Not everybody gets one well into 80s and a smaller chance for a storm on Monday. Karen. All right, thank you, Paul. With Memorial Day weekend approaching, like you mentioned, families will be bringing out the grills for a good old-fashioned cookout. But at Eastern Market, one grill is always going. And no matter what day it is, you will smell Burt's Barbecue. So here is Brandon Rue with today's Tasty Tuesday. Burt's Marketplace is old school comfort barbecue while always staying one step ahead. Jay Lee Deering says his dad, Burt, took a chance on this Eastern Market location back in 1987. Eastern Market was dying out. It was a place they sold fruits and vegetables and live chickens. Now it's thriving and Burt's breathes life into the neighborhood with live jazz and money, breakfast, lunch and dinner deals. Pecan pie, peach cobbler, barbecue ribs. Open seven days a week. We do a mean uh, salmon croquette and eggs and also fish and grits. Our old country buttermilk fried chicken, which is to die for. Burt's makes no bones about the best soul food sides around. Mom's potato salad, creamy coleslaw, collard greens, mac and cheese, red beans and rice, just to name a few. Being in Eastern Market means nobody gets fresher ingredients from the butcher to the trimming table, then out back to the smoker. Slow and low go the ribs. Bert's secret, though, is the sauce. Jay Lee says it's, it's just like my wife, a little bit sweet, a little bit of sassy. The jerk chicken is spot on because the paste is perfect. Rosemary, we take allspice, we take some scotch bonnet peppers that we have to import in and we make a big paste and we rub it in our chicken and it comes out just amazing. 
once again way ahead of the curve. Burt's is going to build into its 50,000 square feet of Eastern Market space, adding Burt's Bistro in a few weeks and... Opening a craft wine and beer store. We can get Michigan wines, Michigan beers, Fago Pop, Burners. It is definitely a great place if you have not visited. Burt's is offering half off of a slab of ribs when you buy a slab of ribs. Today only, you just have to mention Tasty Tuesday. Burt's is located in Detroit's Eastern Market right on Russell Street. Still to come, an unusual problem at a Texas airport as a monkey somehow escapes from his cage and roams around in the baggage area. How this guy was captured. Alt 1067 is Detroit's new alternative. Red Hot Chili Peppers, Imagine Dragons, Weezer, Foo Fighters, Lincoln Park, and more. Alt 1067. One turn, four unbelievable spins. But will James be able to keep it going? Oh. Find out. Wheel of Fortune tonight at 7 only on Local 4. We've recovered over a billion dollars of verdicts, settlements, and judgments for our clients and their families. We didn't do that by settling cheap or cutting corners. You do it by fighting and winning for your clients and their families every day. For years, for decades, for generations, working with honor and integrity, that's the Bernstein advantage. The Sam Bernstein Law Firm, Michigan's first family of law. Selling or trading your car can sometimes be more trouble than it's worth. I'm Alex Broderick with Volunteers of America. We turn every donated car into a vehicle of hope for people in need. We'll quickly pick up your car, boat, RV, or motorcycle free of charge, handle all the paperwork, and you can get a great tax deduction. It's really that simple. Call now to see if donating your vehicle makes sense for you. Local 4's Vote for the Best kicks off with our Pets Edition. Nominate your favorite places now. Find out what's new at clickondetroit.com slash for the best. Presented by Wallside Windows. This is new, this is you. Hard Rock Stoneworks. Looking for new kitchen counters? Hurry in today to Hard Rock Stoneworks. If you place an order today, we'll tear out your existing countertops for free. We have thousands of remnants to choose from and the best selection in Michigan. Let our dedicated sales team guide you through the process. Don't wait. This deal is only available for a limited time and supplies are going fast. Spring into spectacular savings at Bill Fox Chevrolet in Rochester Hills. Come in today and check out some of our amazing lease specials. Right now, lease a 2018 Cruze LT for just $159 a month, or take home a 2018 Trax LS for just $129 a month. Deals like this won't last long, so hurry in and shop the Fox. Get to Bill Fox Chevrolet on Rochester Road, just three miles north of M59. Heartburn and gas? Now, fight both fast. New Tums Chewy Bites with Gas Relief. All in one relief of heartburn and gas. New Tums Chewy Bites with Gas Relief. All right, there was a bit of a primate panic at a busy U.S. airport Monday after a monkey managed to escape from its crate in the airport's cargo hold. It was a pretty crazy scene. It all happened at San Antonio International Airport. Now, luckily, the monkey was confined to an area away from passengers, but he definitely took his time checking out the conveyor belt first. Can't say that we had a scenario specific to a monkey loose in baggage handling, uh, but we do have an emergency management system that comes to life when anything like this happens. I'll just be very candid and say this is not a possibility that we plan for. I agree, they don't normally plan for monkey escapes, <laughs> but they did okay. <laughs> After that wild monkey chase, the furry guy was finally tranquilized and captured and eventually finished his journey to an animal sanctuary. We are told that monkey is doing just fine this afternoon. Just call him Curious George. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. Before we leave, real quick, what we can expect this afternoon? Well, it could be a scattered shower or storm early to mid-afternoon, then things quiet down. So Ben will be in later to give you an update on that and also an update on the holiday weekend forecast as well. Oh, the summer has begun, Summer right? will be here all the way into next week. All right. Thank you, Paul. And thank you for being with us for Local 4 News at noon. Remember, Local 4 News and weather are available 24 hours a day on clickondetroit.com. Have a great day, and I'll see you back here for First at 4.
Now Young Men. They threw me into the ground and started beating me. Handcuffed. I can't breathe! Tased. Arrested. I was handcuffed, being kicked in my face. All caught on tape. I'm gonna choke this dude out, man. All for not using a turn signal. So how did a simple stop end up like this? Today on Local 4 News at 6. All day long they're happening. Decisions, triumphs, and failures. See how the day's moments affect you. Local 4 News at 5 and 6. The moments are here. I used to dread car shopping until I discovered All Pro Nissan. It's all about the customer here. I've never had a dealership work so hard to help me find the vehicle I wanted and at my budget. They're open until 9 during the week, which this working mom really appreciates. Talk about exceeding expectations. Hurry in today to lease the 2018 Nissan Sentra SV, starting at just $119 a month. All roads lead to All Pro Nissan of Dearborn and Macomb. Michigan's number one volume Nissan dealer. We've all had home improvement jobs that didn't go that well. The company doesn't call you back. They leave your house a mess. But if you need windows, there is a drastically different window company out there. Hey, I'm Brian Gary here today with Ted Coons from Renewal by Anderson. You know, Brian, there are a lot of fly-by-night home improvement guys out there. One day they're doing kitchens, the next they're doing windows, and the next day they're out of business. You know, 114-year-old Anderson Windows created Renewal by Anderson as their only full-service replacement window division. And we promise to be the best home improvement experience you'll ever have. Now, your windows are all custom-built. Why is that important? Most windows come in stock sizes. So you buy the size closest to the size you need, but then you have to modify your home's framing to fit the window. We do it very differently. We measure the exact size of your windows and then custom-build them to precisely fit in your home. So with us, we don't impact your siding, your stucco, or your trim. The fact is, if you have inefficient windows, your home either gets too hot or too cold. Yeah, we agonized over every last detail of our windows, from the glass packages, to our mortise and tendon corners, to our composite window material. All of this so your home would be more comfortable and more energy efficient. And Anderson is the brand of patio doors that homeowners really want. You hate to have a patio door that sticks. Anderson's patio doors have dual ball bearing engineering, so your door will easily open and close for years. And for top of the line security, they have a multi-point locking system too. Thanks Ted, that's really helpful information. If you want a great deal from Renewal by Anderson, then this is it. During our Memorial Day window sale, save 20% on windows and patio doors with no money down, no payments, and no interest for a year. And during this sale, take an additional $200 off your whole project. Call before our Memorial Day sale ends on May 31st. 1-800-232-0077. No matter the season, Local 4 can count on Farmer John's Home and Garden and Fashion to brighten our weather patio. Visit Farmer John's Home and Garden and Fashion for all your garden needs. Go where they grow. Detroit's number one TV website. Get the app. Click on Detroit. The following program is a paid commercial announcement. The views represented are not necessarily the views of the station and management of WDIV and should not be considered as an endorsement. What home improvement not only beautifies, but adds value to your home? Find out in this special paid program brought to you by Renewal by Anderson. Hi, I'm Matt Minster. For years as a TV host and home improvement expert, I've helped folks turn their old, outdated bathrooms into stunning new bathrooms. But today, I'm taking on windows. On today's program, you'll see how replacing windows can not only keep your home warmer in winter and cooler in summer, saving you money on energy bills year round, but also discover how the right replacement windows will add beauty to your home while increasing its value. Discover how homeowners are saving big on their energy bills. A $200 difference in our heating bill over a single month. Uncover how this couple found the perfect windows to fit with their historic home. As soon as they were in, they looked like they'd been here for 20 years. Find out how even four-legged members of the family are enjoying the view. There's something for every homeowner on today's Renew Your View. If you're thinking about replacing windows, you probably have issues like drafts or fogging glass. Maybe they're hard to open and close, or they leak. Wouldn't you rather be looking through windows like these? Beautiful windows that help keep your house warm in the winter, cool in summer, and operate flawlessly year after year. Replacing windows can be a big investment. So how do you know if you're making the right choice? For Jimmy and Becky Enzer, the decision to get new windows affected all the members of their family. Ibu. Ibu. 
Extra virgin olive oil is what it stands for. Miss Evie, Evie. she loves the window in the living room yep. because she will go in there and she can watch you yep. leave yep. or watch what's going on. So there's always little nose marks on one particular part of the yep. window. We've been married about 25 years and uh, I came off a farm in the southeastern part of North Carolina. Family is important in the South. It's not just the immediate family. It's a sense of uh, belonging. We get to entertain a lot. And we just have a good time. This house is built to enjoy and live in, and we do. At the time we had initially bought the house and did the major renovation, we didn't budget in replacing the windows. That's right. They were aluminum, I believe. No, that, that was the, um, the storm windows were aluminum. Yeah. They yeah, didn't work, yeah. you know. Nothing either, worked. Nothing worked. Yeah. In this if we house. had a fire and had to crawl to the wound, we wouldn't have a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> well, the old windows, they let air in, yeah. they let heat in.